Hello, this is Dr. Antin from RD Physics. A lot of loudspeakers nowadays, active ones, they have DSP and room corrections. And we want to find out, is that all you need? The setup we're using is a normal living room used also as a home theater. The loudspeakers are Genelec 8351A active monitors with DSP and automatic calibration using a microphone and frequency sweeps. And we are also applying these acoustic panels, five of them actually. They're mineral wool panels, uh, 60 by 60 centimeters in area and 10 centimeters deep. And we're placing two of them at the side walls to address the first sidewall reflections and three of them behind the listener at the back wall and the measurement point is also the listening point. Let's get right to the results. So with frequency sweeps we see that in the magnitude response the acoustic panels here bring down some of the peaks in the mid-range. When we then apply DSP and the automatic calibration it attenuates those low frequency peaks caused by the room modes. But it doesn't really affect the mid-range and the highs. It only raises their level back to where it was earlier. So using DSP and equalizing for mids and highs is very difficult because the notches and peaks are very narrow. I guess many of you are used to looking at waterfall charts uh, which have basically the magnitude response, but also the time domain in a third axis. Um, but actually, I find this a bit difficult to interpret and read, so I'm going to show spectrograms instead. So here are the spectrograms, probably quite difficult to read from the video, so I'll upload them to our blog so you can have a closer look and compare them. Uh, but the image above, that's with no acoustic panels and no DSP, we see a massive amount of energy in the base domain where we have room modes affecting. When we add panels, which is the second picture, it brings down the energy across the range actually. So even though the manufacturer says that these panels are not that effective at long wavelengths, and even though it was not apparent from the magnitude plot, in the spectrogram we see uh, reduction in energy across the frequency range, which is quite interesting to me. And in the image at the bottom we see that DSP, because it's reducing those base peaks, it's of course reducing the energy in that region. It's also bringing up the mids and highs, so we can see a slightly increased energy in that region. And that's, that's actually what we want, because we're aiming for a evenly distributed energy across the spectrum of frequencies. So do you need both DSP and acoustic elements? Well, yes, when looking at the magnitude response, the DSP addresses the peaks in the base region and adjusts for the overall level, while the acoustic panels addresses the mid-range frequencies. When looking at the energy spectrum, we can see that actually both even out the energy spectrum. So they are both working for the whole frequency range and improving things. And one thing that I found encouraging was that just placing five panels has a measurable effect. All right, I hope you found these results interesting. Thank you for watching.